Hi, welcome back to uh, our section on using if-else uh, conditions. Okay, now previously we have uh, used if-else to compare uh, for integers. Uh, in particular, in this case, it's a score. Okay, to check whether it's above 50 or some other score, then we assign a given grade. Now, other than comparing comparing in integers, we can use uh, we can compare strings as well. Okay, so for example. Um, I can say that, uh, say I delete all this, okay, and I can say um, string, okay, uh, uh, string, guess, okay, string guess equals to e a b c, okay, and then uh, it will be a mini game which I'll invite the user to guess my word and if he has guessed it correctly then uh, he he will win okay so I ask user okay to input a string okay so uh, user input okay equals to console.read line alright okay and before that I'll ask console um, write line okay then uh, Please enter your guess word. Okay, and we will prompt the user to enter it, and the user input will be assigned to the variable called user input. And now we check if okay, user input dot. Now how do we compare two strings? Okay, we can compare using equal equal and um, a b c. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, but uh, typically this might cause some issues with uh, because of object references okay so the correct way to compare strings instead of using equal equal like how we compare numbers be to use dot equals okay dot equals and then uh, comparing guess okay so you can do user input dot equals uh, open bracket guess close bracket right what, what's happening here is that uh, now a string is actually an object in C sharp. Okay, when we and say a dot means that we want to access a method of that particular object. Now this will be elaborated later on when we uh, under the section of objects. Okay, but what you hear it means is that uh, we're use the equals method of the uh, string object called user input, and we input the parameter guess. Okay, so if user input dot is equal to guess, then we say. We will write line. Okay. Correct. Yes. Okay. Else. Correct line. Wrong. Yes. Okay. Execute this. We sent to a guess word let's say DEF. Oh wrong guess. Okay, now let's try that again. We sent to a guess word ABC. Correct guess. Alright, so uh, how it works is like this. Okay. Now um, comparing strings uh, and using if else uh, statements. So just take note that to compare strings you use the dot equals. Okay, and for comparing uh, numbers you can use the equal equal okay